Joe Burrow had one of the biggest breakout seasons with LSU in 2019 and is one of the most hyped players going into the 2020 NFL season. He was the first overall pick in the draft and a very well-known sports figure. He's very popular, but there are still that you probably don't know about him. Here are 10 things you didn't know about Joe Burrow. Before we get started though, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos and you'd like to learn about certain athletes and their unique stories. Now let's head straight into the video. Number 10. Joe Burrow's family has a history of football at Nebraska. Joe has two older brothers, Jamie and Dan, that both play football at the University of Nebraska. Jamie played there from 1997 to 2001, and Dan played there from 2000 to 2004. Joe's father, Jimmy, also played for Nebraska in 1974 and 75 as a defensive back before being drafted by the Green Bay Packers in 1976. The Burroughs were a Nebraska football family, and Joe and the rest of his family wanted him to play there too. Sadly for Joe, Nebraska told him that he wasn't good enough. Now we know that it was a big mistake. Number 9. Joe Burrow grew up in a poor city. Joe Burrow was born in 1996 in Ames, Iowa. When he was 6 years old, his family moved to Fargo, North Dakota when his father took a coaching job at North Dakota State. They would live there for two years and then move to Athens, Ohio, where Joe would live for the entirety of his high school career. Athens was not a bad place to live, but it just didn't have a lot of money. The poverty rate there was two times the national average, and many families struggled to put food on the table each and every day. Number 8. Joe Burrow started his career at Ohio State. If you didn't know already, Joe Burrow didn't always play at LSU. In 2015, he was a redshirt at Ohio State, and he would spend the next two years as a backup, only playing in 10 games. It was in 2018 when Joe transferred to LSU and had nearly 2,900 passing yards and 16 touchdowns as the starting quarterback. Burrow came back the next season and recorded 5,600 passing yards and an NCAA record 60 touchdowns. He would win the Heisman Trophy and lead LSU to a national championship. Number 7. Joe Burrow used to have light blonde hair. Joe Burrow nowadays has hair that people would consider light brown or dirty blonde, but his hair wasn't always that color. Back when Joe was in high school, his hair was super blonde. His hair was so bleached that it almost looked white. If you didn't know any better, it'd be hard to know that it was really him. Number six, Joe Burrow was very good at basketball. Like many professional athletes, Joe Burrow played more than one sport in high school. Along with football, Joe played basketball and he was quite good. In four seasons at Athens, he totaled over 1,400 points and averaged 20 points a game his senior year. He was also selected to the first team All-Ohio. Joe's gift is obviously football, but he's very good at basketball too. Number 5. Joe Burrow helped his hometown by winning the Heisman Trophy. When Joe gave his Heisman Trophy speech, he underlined the problems in his hometown of Athens, Ohio. He spoke about how so many people struggled with poverty and hunger in a very emotional speech. His speech got the attention of millions of people and almost immediately there was a Facebook page asking for donations for the Athens County Food Pantry. The goal was to raise $1,000 and within 24 hours they had raised $80,000. Then after just one month, the drive had raised over $500,000. Who knew one single speech could make such a positive impact? Number four. Joe Burrow has a bachelor's degree in consumer and family financial services. Because Joe was such a standout athlete in college, many people don't know what type of education he was going to college for. Before transferring to LSU, Joe graduated from Ohio State after three years with a bachelor's degree in consumer and family financial services. He isn't just smart on the field, but he's smart off the field too. Number three. Joe Burrow studied the Saints offense at LSU. The Saints have one of the best offenses in the NFL, so they are not a bad team to learn from. And in the offseason prior to Joe Burrow's final year at LSU, he spent a lot of time looking at how the Saints ran a successful offense. Joe specifically looked at things like his footwork and reads. It would pay off too, as he would win the national championship and the Heisman Trophy that season. 
Number two, Dwayne Haskins took Joe Burrow's job at Ohio State. During the spring of 2018, Ohio State held an open quarterback competition and Joe Burrow was beat out by current NFL quarterback Dwayne Haskins. This is what prompted Joe to transfer to LSU and it was probably all for the better since Joe went on to do great things at LSU and Dwayne Haskins had a very good career at Ohio State as well. Number one, Athens renamed its football field to honor Joe Burrow. After Joe Burrow's Heisman speech brought in a ton of money to the city of Athens, Ohio, the school district wanted to do something in honor of Joe. They decided to rename the high school football stadium the Joe Burrow Stadium. This is a great honor for Joe, but it is well deserved saying how much he has accomplished athletically and also for his hometown. And that does it for today's video guys. I hope you learned something about Joe Burrow today. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and also leave some feedback in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.